pinagtataka sa tuwing sasapit ang Pasko. Peace and grace of the Lord Jesus, our Emmanuel. The Christmas season, my dear friends, is easily associated with the season of sharing. As Christians, we know that it started with the merciful love of the Father when He sent His only begotten Son, our Lord Jesus, to become flesh and blood in our midst at the Incarnation. As Christians, we share in this divine life and therefore we share this power, this ability of sharing. And when we speak of sharing, especially for us in the society of St. Paul, we are called to live and give Jesus Master the way, the truth, and the life to the world with the means of social communication, especially in the digital world and particularly in social media. But as we know, it is only by the grace of God that we can truly share, we can truly give. And the giving would have different modes and manners. The different way of sharing, especially sharing our talents and time with other people. Being good, being kind, being compassionate, as the Lord Himself is compassionate. And this does not prevent us also sharing our material resources, especially to the poor. The poor in spirit especially, who are far from God, who need God's mercy and forgiveness. And being sharers in the divine life, we can also do this when we love, when we forgive, when we can be merciful to other people. As Society of St. Paul, where we are called to preach through the means of social communication, let us not forget that it starts, first of all, in our capacity to, us, to absorb the love and forgiveness of Jesus. And by this love, by this mercy, by this compassion of Jesus in our hearts, in our whole being, the best way of sharing then is by living this in our own personal lives. So we become living sharers of the love of the Father. And the season of Christmas maybe for 30 days or beyond 30 days, especially for us Filipinos who would celebrate also Santo Nino, which is an extension of the celebration of Christmas. Christmas truly becomes an everyday sharing when every day we become witnesses by our own personal lives, the love, the forgiveness, the compassion of Jesus. A blessed Christmas to everyone and happy sharing, joyful sharing to those around you. So many Christians, especially Filipinos, are excited for the coming of Christmas. Do you notice that uh, we start the countdown when the month ends in bear. And also we start hearing Christmas songs 
played in the radio stations. Children start asking, Mom, Dad, where will be the Christmas? Or, Dad, Mom, or Nino, Godfather or Godmother, don't forget my Christmas gift. Somebody texted me asking Nino, oh Godfather, don't forget my Christmas gift. And she's excited. Why this excitement? Maybe because we associate Christmas with gifts, a time for giving. You know, notice uh, you notice that uh, although people are hard up this time, they are still thinking of what to give, what to share this Christmas. As if the celebration is not complete without giving. And so we have exchange gifts. We have some games for uh, reward for those who win. Some would remove half of their clothing from their wardrobe and give them away. And some have the courage to ask for Christmas. And it is hard to refuse them. Why? Because of the spirit of Christmas. But more than just giving an exchanging gift, it is the reason behind that trial accounts. Why do we share? Is it because of our knowledge and conviction that God has given us His only Son, Jesus Christ, the Master, the Way, the Truth, and the Life? And so we share in God's generosity of giving us this greatest gift. There must be a reason. We remember the Evangelist Luke in chapter 2 of his gospel. The angels said to the shepherds, Do not be afraid. I proclaim to you good news of great joy that will be for all people. And what is this great joy? What is this good news? For today, in the city of David, a Savior has been born for you, who is the Messiah and Lord. And there is something in this Christmas spirit that makes us joyful, strong, and uh, very alive. Though we encounter many problems, trials, but we still experience the joy of Christmas. And many share this joy to others. What is this secret of joy? This Christmas joy? St. Paul, writing to Titus, reminds us this is the goodness of God. The goodwill of God. He gave His only Son to save us. There is joy. We experience joy when there is goodness. We experience joy when we see around you know, the good people bringing joy to others. We feel joy when we see people expressing their kindness to one another. And for us, believers, let us make this Christmas our culture of being good to others. And so, Merry Christmas and God bless you more. Let it be our mission, let us make it.
Christmas.